Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today we're going to be doing the number one thing I've seen in the comment section. I tell you guys all the time. If you guys comment something and want me to make a video and there's enough of you guys that want me to do it, I will get out each and every single one that you guys want me to do. And today the most highly requested that I've seen for a very long time is Brawler Synergy. So what we're going to be doing for you guys is showing you guys the top five Brawler Synergies in all of Brawl Stars. Now this is always subject to change. As meta changes and good brawlers become bad and bad brawlers become good, things change. But we're going to be showing you guys the current top 5 synergetic brawlers. I don't even know if synergetic is a word, but we're going to go with it. But anyways, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up. So going into game 1, we're going to have Poco Double Tank. Now this one has probably been the longest lasting brawler synergy in all of Brawl Stars. As Poco was one of the original, I think it was 13 brawlers in the game way back when beta came out. Or when Brawl Stars came out, sorry, back in beta. And Poco Double Tank has just been a really good strategy ever since. Now, obviously, when Poco is super meta, this is obviously a lot more viable. Or when tanks are super meta, this is a lot more viable. But this is always going to work no matter what. The best synergy that Poco has with any brawler is going to be just different types of tanks. So, for example, Mortis is a really nice one. Shield, Carl, BB, Darrow, Bull etc there are a lot of really good ones also alec and sans maybe next time tell me that there's a bull and a gene in a bush that would be very helpful but anyways um yeah poco 100 is like the best brawler synergy like just long lasting over time this one is never going to go away and the only reason i put it at number five right now is because at the current moment it's not meta if it was meta i would put it higher but this is always going to be a thing there's never going to be a time where poco double tank isn't going to be a good brawler synergy it's just always going to be that way i would highly recommend if you're pushing poco or if you're pushing tanks or playing with the team and want to win pretty easily to go poco double tank because you counter basically 90 percent of things unless the other team is like a bee a spike a shelly etc it should be pretty easy for you guys to just go forward and win the game so that being said, let's hop on over to number four and show you guys what's up. Coming in at number four, we have Byron Colette. Now, this one is an absolute killer. You guys are going to see anywhere where Byron Colette is meta, it's going to be played in competitive or just at all in ladder. Example being Kaboom uh, Canyon, which is a really, really popular heist map. Uh, Safe Zone, which is really popular as well. I don't know what this is called. I think it's called Snake to Salt. But anyways... Poco and, or sorry, not Poco, sorry, Byron and Colette just have the most insane synergy because Byron can just chill in the back of the map and just keep shooting the Colette, keep shooting the Colette, and the Colette is basically going to have infinite HP because the Colette gets a shield every time it uses super, it gets additional shield anytime it hits a, a brawler, a player, whatever, like, it is so strong together, it's so hard to kill the Colette if the Byron is focused on healing it. Now, I am not the greatest Byron. I never play Byron because I personally don't think it's that fun. So my heals are not going to be too on point this game. But definitely, this is something that you guys want to be using, especially in Heist. Now, the reason it's number four, again, is because you can't really use it in Gem or in Brawl Ball or Siege or modes like that. But in Heist and where it is meta, it is so strong and there's basically nothing that counters it. You just have way too much HP. The Collect can basically live forever, run up, auto aim, cycle supers, do it over, over, and over again. It is so ridiculously strong but unfortunately it's not just viable everywhere so that's why we're going to leave it at number four but i would highly recommend running this if you guys are going to be playing any form of heist that this can work on this is just going to absolutely run through any anybody so definitely run this one this is going to be our number four best synergy for the brawlers let's move into the top three and show you guys what it is so this top three is going to be above and beyond any other that we have given you guys so far these three are just so much better than the other two are and just simply because you can use these basically anywhere and they're just super super strong so number three is going to be crow and snipers now you guys are going to kind of think you know how do crow and snipers synergize and it is the gadget the five second slow gadget is just unreal it is so ridiculously strong when you slow somebody when you slow a brawler and just have a bell sniping at it a brock sniping at it, a piper sniping at it because it is not a short amount of time it is not one second it is not two or three seconds it is five total seconds of you just standing there being slow while you have a piper just aiming down at you or a bell just aiming down at you or a brock it's just so ridiculously strong and on top of that it's really good because a piper can get a tap or a bell can get a tap and it's going to be super hard for you to regen as a brawler because the crow tick is just going to be slowly ticking at you taking you away and not letting you regen at all now i almost kind of threw the game over there we're not going to focus on that at all Let's pretend that never happened but as you guys can see on the screen here as soon as you get a brawler slow there is absolutely no way 
that they're going to stay alive with a bell and a piper shooting at it. This one is going to be number three because, again, it's not as diverse as number one and number two. This is going to be number three because it's good in gem. You can use it in some brawl ball maps, some hot zone, some siege, but I would not really recommend it in a lot of the maps. Basically, the majority of the maps, maybe 60%, but these other two are just lethal everywhere. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is. So coming in at number two is going to be Ruffs and basically any parry brawler that you can find. So for this map, it's going to be Ruffs and Double Thrower, but the synergy is basically Ruffs and Carry. Now, you want to basically have one brawler that is going to be your absolute hard carries. And what you want to do is give that brawler the power up, give it more HP, and just let it work. In Ring of Fire, for example, in competitive as of late, that's what we've been doing. We've been going, going with like a bell in the middle or an amber in the middle and just giving it the dog power up or the roughs power up. I should say treat since I want it to be called treat instead of power up. We're working on a wave right now. If any of you guys want to help out, you know, call the dog power up a treat now. But anyways, just giving it to your carries is ridiculously broken. Giving it to like a piper and giving your piper like 5k HP is insane. I've seen a 9k HP powered up sprout, literally unkillable unit of mass destruction. It's just so broken and since it's not two brawlers, it's just roughs and a carry brawler, you can use it on any mode you want. This one is just going to be bounty because for the sake of the video I'm trying to play different maps so we are playing bounty. But it's just so ridiculously strong, it's really really good and I would just highly recommend doing it. Now this game isn't really the greatest greatest example because we are facing a couple counters to the throwers and Alec likes to die with the power up that's just something that happens very often um, but this is just something that I would highly recommend doing if you have a good roughs player that can hold your lane and then you give power up and HP to another brawler that's usually a carry there's just no shot that the other team is going to be able to beat you guys so I would highly recommend running this 100% wherever you can but with that being said let's move on to number one and I feel like you guys already kind of knew what this number one was but let's hop into it and let's show you guys what it is anyways. Let's get to the grand number one winner. Let's hop into it. But let's also show you guys us winning this game real quick and coming back. So coming in at our final number one spot. Surprise, surprise. We have Max and Gene. Now this is just the god combo. There's no beating this. This just is the number one brawl synergy in the game. Now, Gene as an alone brawler is not too strong. It could be deba debatably top 10. Some people say it could even be like 6 or 7. I personally don't think it's top 10. And same thing with Max. Max as an alone brawler, I don't think is top 10. But when you get Max with brawlers that synergize well, and when you get Gene with brawlers decided that synergize well, they're just absolute units. And when you play these brawlers together, it is so strong. Now, what makes this so strong? So Max gives Gene speed. Gene walks up, Gene auto aims pull, charges his super back, and basically gets it again. You guys can see here I'm only one shot away from super. Max or yeah, Max used the speed, he already has his speed back. And if Max ever gets low, it just comes beside the Gene. I give it 400 HP heals per second, as you guys are seeing on my screen right now, to help it regen, to help it stay alive. Max gets speed again, I run up, I auto aim pull someone, and we just run it back. It is so ridiculously strong, it can be used in literally every single mode, perhaps outside of Heist. Now, I bet I can make it work in Heist, or other pros can make it work in Heist, but I wouldn't recommend you guys using it in Heist. But this can be done absolutely anywhere. I would highly recommend doing it. It is super strong. And even if you play with thirds such as M's or Tara or Amber, just other brawlers that synergize well with Max and Gene, it is just such a lethal combo that is basically unbeatable unless you're just a better player and hit like 20 Piper shots in a row. I don't know. But this is definitely the best brawler synergy in the game. But that is going to be it for the video. Now, again, I am just doing this video because this is what you guys wanted to see. So if there's anything else you guys want to see, put it in the comment section below. But that's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys hopefully again tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.